war. It is no stranger to men of faith, who are driven to fight with a fury no king or sultan can inspire. From across the sands and the seas, they fight for the Holy Lands, to ensure the hell that is their lives will grant their passage into heaven. Hello everyone and welcome to another Total War Battle series. So this one will um, focus on um, the Crusades. So we're doing this in medieval and we're going to start in chronological order. So we're going to start with the first crusade and for, the f for this the first battle we're going to do the imaginary battle of uh, Peter the Hermit's People's Crusade Army versus the Sejic Turks. And today with me, playing uh, part of this peasant army, we've got Boone. Hello. Yes, and as the Turks, we got Maxo. Hi guys. Um. So yeah. Um. I think that we'll go straight into it and we can talk about a bit of the history about this battle uh, as the battle progresses. Um, I've, this is sort of an imaginary battle because they never actually probably moved into battle formations. It was more about the... Um, the uh, what was it called now again? Kiljin Al-San, which was the... Um, the Sejic Turks commander basically probably mopped up these guys as they were rummaging through the countryside. But yeah, um, since it's about the First Crusade, we're talking about um, it's in the what's it called? Uh, it's not in the tenth century, I guess. No, how is it now? You say the it would be the ninth century, right? Yes. Yeah. Because it's it's about um, well, the Byzantines call for aid in uh, I think it's it's 1095, which they call for Western aid. And uh, we can go in closer because it looks as though Boone's peasants are being struck by uh, Turkish arrows. And some of them break rank to try to chase off the Turkish uh, soldiers. Anyways, as I was saying, the Byzantine Emperor uh, have been fighting the Sejic Turks for quite a while and they've been lost most of modern day Turkey. And uh, so he's in desperate need of help because they're, at, they're sort of at the gates of Constantinople and he needs help, so he calls. Um, for the, uh, the Christians of the West, particularly the Pope and uh, other Christian leaders in the West, to come to his aid and to fight the Muslims. And so the Pope heeds his call and he has the, uh, he holds the Council of Clermont, which he, when he calls in as many Christians as he can lords and so on and um, they they talk about a number of stuff and then he goes into calling a crusade on the Holy Land towards Jerusalem uh, so the um, it's at this point it's mostly um, French and Germans who take part in the crusade we don't have the, the famous of course Richard Lionheart and the English take part of it, so at this point it's mostly the French and a few Germans who take part in this crusade. Uh, but in this actual battle, as you can see, we got mostly peasants. And that is because there's a special guy called uh, Peter the Hermit, 
and he couldn't really wait for the organized male knights and the real troops to start marching so he decides that he's, he's gonna create his own army and he goes around um, speaking uh, to uh, different groups of peasants try to get to rally them to fight in his crusade so he managed to gather up in, in the different sources it, is, it varies but we're talking about a few thousand peasants up to estimations up to 30,000 peasants that join him in what is called the People's Crusade or the Peasant Crusade um, so he sets off with his 30,000 peasants and he marches through the the um, through Germany and he goes all the way they actually march all the way down then to Constantinople and the the Emperor is a bit confused here because he asks for the the armies of the Christian Christian Europe to come to his aid and all he gets is this bunch of this motley crew of peasants from France to come uh, that comes down instead so he's a bit confused and he realizes also um, that there, there's no these uh, these peasants have no chance against the well-organized uh, Turks so we've got quite a battle cry going on here as uh, the peasants charge in to fight the Turks so anyways he, he realized that this army is going to get beaten pretty badly if they go out, up against the, uh, the Turks so he um, tried to persuade uh, Peter to not actually go and engage with the uh, with the Turks. Now it's unclear if Peter actually heeded his call, or if it was just the fever of the the peasant uh, soldiers to actually continue on and and fight. So they move in to the area around. I believe it's called Nicaea, where they move in around that area to start to, and they start plundering the countryside, and it prompts the uh, Sejic Turks under Kilgin Hassan to move in and try to uh, destroy this, this peasant army. And as far as I can tell, there's no recorded battle of them. Of actually fighting in a sort of pitch battle like we're doing here but uh, they did uh, fight them and kill all these peasants and uh, we got a charge here going in for my French peasants so yeah um, the peasants didn't hit his call and they move in there and they get utterly crushed um, although Peter managed to survive and he uh, spends his day and he's, he's going to probably appear a few times more throughout this uh, or we're probably going to mention him a few times more throughout this uh, battle campaign that was a pretty devastating charge I must say it's quite a lot of dead French peasants right there now partly because it, partly why he got so many peasants was because the countryside, the French countryside, uh, Europe in general, had been hit by quite a few different uh, uh, plagues, not plagues, but uh, misfortunes, bad harvest, and there has also been uh, quite a few meteorological, what's it called, uh, meteorites and stuff being seen in the sky. So that had prompted them to believe that uh, also it might have also just been to get away from the get away from the uh, just the misfortune of being a medieval peasant that might have driven them to um, join this crusade so this is a totally imaginary battle that really didn't take place as as we've seen right here, right now. Oh, my peasants are fighting 
very compared with your peasant's boon my peasants are not doing very well most of them are getting <laughs> getting routed while your peasants are actually being able to fight the Turks although not too well either yeah they're but starting to rout as well we should say that this battle we on, on our side me and Boone's side here with the peasants we have about uh, I believe it was something around 6,000 uh, actual units on the battlefield. I will have some fun by units as well the preserve mode. Fighting for their hope to get to Jerusalem and <laughs> find salvation in, in the afterlife. But now we can see here that the uh, superior. Lord have mercy! We have lost half of our men. Oh, uh, so we've lost half the army, which would be around three thousand men. Um, more than that. Yeah, probably more. There's a lot of dead people now, and we can see that Boone was in charge of the the more um, well-trained peasant, shall we say? Uh, we'll see if we can rally around the Holy Cross and. Hold on. See if you can't hold on and continue this battle. Let's see if we can't win. It's a bit of a silly battle, but I think it's it's probably a quite good start for this. Um, Crusaders battle campaign. Ooh, he doesn't like the team. There's a mass murder. There's a, yeah, yeah. Like massacres. There's a load of peasants running right now. That's really a load of them, John. I tried to rally them, but I guess they had enough. Only intervention by Almighty God or a military genius can bring us victory from this debacle. The, the French guy that talks for, uh, sort of does the, the voices, like half our forces are dead, sounds very much like the guy they used for Napoleon in Napoleon Third War. It might even be the same person who does the voice there. Yeah, it probably is. We're sending in here the the remainder of our peasants uh, come back and are ready to fight to defend the Holy Cross. But most likely it's to no avail. The enemy general lies dead! Good riddance to that Saracen desert dog! Oh, oh you Trace lost your general, Max, <gasps> There goes history. Yeah, there goes history. <laughs> um, I guess he wasn't that careful. Galdin um, Arslan. It's just going to make my troops fight ever so much stronger. The enemy is badly blotted. They have lost half their men. Oh, the Turks have lost half the men. Oh, time. Boone's mm -hmm. really hard to fight. Pardieu! Our general lies slain upon the battlefield. Oh, Pardieu! Our general lies slain on the battlefield. The French didn't mass rout anymore. Mm -hmm. That's something. They're coming back. Don't so underestimate French peasants. I say that, and I can see that my men are starting to rout. You jinxed it. Ah, oh, there's a mass rout! Again? Yes. This time, I don't believe I will be able to recall them. Sacre bleu! Our men are fleeing the battle! Rally them or victory runs away on their heels! Sacre bleu! 
It looks as those damn Turks have won. But we will be back in greater numbers. They are the inventor of the kebab. Look at the people defended. We still have a few of them fighting on here. Noble allies have lost their leader. With their chef de troupe gone, they may lose heart and the defeat is a bitter drop to swallow. Next time, it will be our foe that sups from this most foul cup. So, <laughs> let's see here. How many men did you kill? Uh, you managed to kill. <laughs> you actually took a thousand of them prisoner. Yep. I managed to take six Saracens as prisoner <laughs> somehow. Wow. Yeah, that was I think they must have been sleeping. Fled. Yeah. <laughs> they must have they must yeah. have been they must have tired themselves out. <laughs> Just slaughtering the peasants. Mm. So at least at least two thousand peasants made it out of there. No they didn't. Only eight hundred well yeah, with the prisoners, yeah. Yeah. In but total no. two thousand made it out alive. Well two out of two thousand out of six thousand, that's still acceptable. <laughs> the ex yeah, it's acceptable. With about a thousand with about half of Max army gone. So yeah, um, this was the the next one will be um, the actual siege. Although uh, they actually don't really fight in the siege. They did. Of, of the battle of well, they don't actually take it by force. That's true. So we'll but have a pitched Crusaders battle. For, it. Yeah, we'll still have a pitched battle for that one. Maybe we'll put a castle in the background to symbolize the. The actual siege of that castle, but yeah, this is the this is gonna be the first video for uh, this uh, Crusader battle series, and uh, we hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. Ta ta. Bye. Bye.